Hello and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're looking at a Lenovo ThinkStation P3 Tower. This is a desktop workstation PC from Lenovo. We're actually going to use it as kind of a simple file server and database server because it has integrated NVMe RAID, which I've not seen really at this price point before. It also has an extremely impressive 13th Gen i9 CPU, which you'll see in the Passmark scores a little later. We'll also go over the outside and inside of the PC. Let's get started. This workstation PC has an Intel Core i9-13924 core processor, efficient core base frequency 1.5 GHz, max turbo frequency is 5.6 GHz, Intel UHD 770 integrated graphics, NVIDIA RTX A2000 12GB dedicated graphics, 32GB of DDR5 4800 MHz RAM. 1TB M2 PCIe NVMe 4.0 X4 SSD Integrated NVMe RAID Controller USB 3.2 Gen 1 and Gen 2 Gigabit Ethernet TPM 2.0 750W Power Supply and Windows 11 Pro The front of the PC has a handle you can use to lift it up. There's a power button, hard drive access light, card reader, microphone jack, headset jack, USB Type-C, and four USB Type-A ports. On the back, you can see the rear fan. This is where a Wi-Fi antenna would be if it was populated with one. Power cord, of course, goes here. Got PCI expansion slots, gigabit ethernet, four USB Type-A, analog audio out for speakers. There's three display ports and an HDMI for the integrated graphics. And then the NVIDIA Quadro card is both of these slots with four mini display ports. I really thought that had kind of died off and really wish it would. Even Apple doesn't use mini display port anymore. To open up this PC, there are two thumb screws that I've already removed that were on the back. And you're gonna slide the side backwards and lift up. Right off the bat, you see 120 millimeter fans on this bracket. There are tabs on the sides that you can push in to allow it to lift up and slide out. I like how they did the fan connectors where they're pretty quick disconnect. It does have a spot for a three and a half inch hard drive over here. It does come with the little bracket as well as SATA power and SATA data. The SATA power does go to the motherboard since the power supply on all of these is proprietary. It is a 750 watt power supply. It does have an eight pin PCIe power connector so you can do a higher power video card. It does have a proprietary connector on the motherboard though, unfortunately, and then a standard eight pin CPU power connector. We've got the NVIDIA Quadro dedicated graphics. It came with this bracket on it, which actually secures it to the case where you can remove it back here, but that's pretty cool since nothing moves around. That, of course, is taking one X16 interface. There's another PCI Express X16 and an X1, but it is backless, so you could put a longer card in it. There's an M2 uh, wireless LAN slot, but there are no cables for the antennas or anything as far as I can see pre-installed. This is the factory NVMe M2 location. It does have a heat sink on it and it uses a plastic retainer, but there's a second NVMe PCIe slot here, but notice it doesn't have the plastic retainer. I was able to find a kit online that does appear to be original Lenovo stuff. So here's the plastic piece that goes there and it did come with the heat spreader and the uh, little thermal pad there. I'll put a link in the description to this since you will need that if you want to take advantage of a second M2 or the NVMe RAID that's built onto the board, which is what we plan to do with this PC, is a little RAID mirror. Only one memory slot is populated. Here's the standard CPU fan cooler combo with heatsink. There's a front 120 millimeter fan and a rear 92 millimeter fan in addition to the side 120s. The Passmark scores for this PC are some of the best I've ever seen from a pre-built computer. The overall score is 8576, the 87th percentile. The CPU mark is 48551, which is in the 99th percentile. 2D mark is 1048, the 91st percentile. 3D mark is 13831, the 75th percentile. 
The memory mark is 2990, which is the 70th percentile. This only has one stick of RAM, so it would benefit from a second matching stick so that it could be in dual channel mode. The disc mark is 50,353, the 99th percentile, the best score I've ever seen on a pre-built machine. The performance for the money on this one is pretty incredible for a pre-built PC. That 13th Gen i9 is off the charts, but the NVMe RAID is definitely the selling point for us on this one. If you intend to purchase one, if you can use the link in the description, it really helps support our channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to add I didn't, please get that in the comments too. I'm always glad to learn something. Thank you so much for watching.